Like, if, if I pay to offset my carbon, yeah. say, you know, I'm flying to Egypt and I pay 30 quid, yeah. it's not that expensive to do it. What actually happens after I press the button on the website and offset my carbon? Well, I think one of the issues with the offsetting is that we don't really entirely know and it's not as mm. open as it really should be. It's a little right. bit like when you you know, choose a, a renewable, 100% renewable or, or whatever energy provider for home. Yeah. Um, it's not different electricity or different gas that gets pumped into your house. It's the same stuff. Yeah. Um, but it might be that that company um, is investing more in um, you know, various technologies or they might even build their own wind farm. Yeah. So if your energy provider is company B, yeah. they, they might have built a massive big wind farm and go, right, we are selling to the British consumer in total X amount of electricity, and our wind farm is producing X amount of electricity. Right. Uh, so they can say, although the actual atom, yeah. the actual electrons right, that, that you know get pumped into your house uh, might not necessarily be from our wind farm. Yes, we are putting into the national grid system. Yeah. We're putting into the pot uh, the same amount that we're selling, and all of what we put in is renewable or eight mm -hmm. percenters or whatever. And I think with offsetting, it's a, a similar sort of thing. Right. Uh, maybe you're going to plant trees. There was um, a big thing uh, on YouTube at the sort of the, the, the turn of the decade, where team trees to, to plant, I forget how many million trees it was. So, you know, planting trees or uh, investing in renewable energy to, you know, to, to, to sort of mean that energy used somewhere else in the world at some point yeah. is, is clean rather than dirty. So that's the sort of thing that offsetting is going to be. Okay.